welcome to another vlog. So in this video, I am going to discuss the technical background of your manuscript. Technical background is all about a preview of all the operations, the functionalities of your system as if it was already running. Okay, then uh, in the technical background, or you, or you will also indicate or uh, enumerate all the hardware and software uh, that was used during the development process of the system so from the browsers uh, operating system servers uh, databases tools for database design tools for addressing your uh, unified modeling language uh, models now for example uh, the use case the swim lane diagram okay so uh, you will also indicate that there so for example you include visual you no know? so um, uh, we will the discussion will all revolve on on the technical background so uh, let us not wait any longer so let us start the discussion so let's watch this okay so we have chapter 3 class so technical background okay so how will you how would how will you write the technical background so you begin with the discussion of the existing system so cite the the major disadvantage of using the system so for example this one so the researchers observation giving the existing system that is it consumes a lot of time and effort for the student electoral board in conducting the election event to a secured tallying of votes and for the voters going to the precinct. So, yung ang pinaka-concern is, is security. No? Oh, security sa votes and uh, let us say, ang pag-respect sa sanctity sa pag-vote during the election, student election uh, event. No? So, with this concern, so since you are proposing a system so you are concerned about conducting uh, it securely no so th that would be serve that will serve as your opening statement to introduce your proposed system no so for example with this concern the proponents found an opportunity to make a web based application that will provide an efficient way of paperless election events casting and tallying of votes okay then hambog din kasi imuhang features imuhang system no uh, it, it's not uh, it's not panghambog, but you are going to present you know, the advantage of your system. So through the website, the primary objective is to give secure individual votes and election results. So mopay pinaka goal ni Mark Anthony ani is to secure the individual votes and election results, which is the main objective of his study. Also with the automated casting of vote votes voters are convert uh, convenient to vote efficiently without stepping on the designated precinct so mo po di ha nga uh, bisan nagwala ka mga to sa presinto pwede ka ka votar no okay securely okay then uh, you discuss since this is an object oriented approach atong gamiton so you discussed what is uh uh uh, how did you use the object oriented approach okay i discuss na nimo then i compare pod na nimo sa structured approach okay so you can you can have a similar statement ani so you just revise it na lang aron kuan aron uh, dili ta mag uh, di naka maka maka ako time no so i, i revise revise lang siya so kung makita mo lang definition sa object oriented approach o sa structured approach uh, you compare with uh, the two then relate sa imuhang uh, study okay then uh, since you are go this is an online system or web based system you discuss about session based security Okay, because uh, websites has gitawag na tog simultaneous uh, connections. Okay, then you discuss also how is it accessed or 
uh, the web how can be the the, the application the web system can be uh, accessible through other devices no so for, through mobile devices and personal computers the proponent has decided to make a web application that will provide convenience to the manage management of clients entirely equipped with user-friendly features that will aid user familiarity with the system okay then moreover session-based security has secured the as the secured application that will continuously monitor and log the activity of the user while using the system so make sure if you are going to put this one it will also be your system your actual system will also exhibit you know, this feature so the security measure also reduces the idle moments of the user while using the system so if there are no activities with the web application it in the allowable time the system automatically requires the user to log in again so ang site ani niya is more on security class so if you are familiar with facebook kung dugay ka na ka in sa website sa facebook okay so oh, let us say log in ka then dugay ka ang resume sa imuhang uh, imuhang pag uh, let us say pagbuhat og transaction sa sa sa, sa web application okay na nagitawag nga session now, once you are you are going to access the uh, web app, no, okay, nana she session we create. Then that's there is that session also uh, dies, no, uh, in a certain span of time. So mo na ini open ni mo karon ini log ini mo pagkaugma, palang ino na kagbalik, okay. Then especially put if you are going to clean the cache of the browser. No? So, mo log in yung kagbalik. So, mo nagitawag ang session na once ang i-clean mo, ni mo sa cache sa browser, mawa na sad na siya. Okay. Then, following those uh, paragraph is the list of all the tools and software that uh, that will be used. No? Was tam nagigamit ani nga term niya kay na human na mas develop No? During the software development. So, for example, Adobe Photoshop CS5. So, these are software and tools. No? HTML5, so which is embedded in Visual Studio. jQuery, the same also embedded, so for JavaScripts na siya. No? Then Microsoft Visual Studio, the official IDE, nato development tool in creating the system itself. Then we have SQL Server Management Studio, the application that uh, will be used. Uh, during our interaction with the database or so creation of scripts uh, shall we say uh, views um, database objects so diha na to padagano na ato mga scripts no stored procedures and sql server 2008 so the database itself so for example kung may sql ang gamit o may sql sad kung gamit nyo din hi navicat navicat sad no depende na sa kanang uh, unsa imo hang gamiton okay then we have for the, uh, shall we say, um, uh, testing of the web page or the web page, the web application. So we are go you are going to cite three uh, popular browsers. So for example, we have Google Chrome, Mozilla, and Edge. So mumani say common, good. O pwede po Opera, no? Okay. So kung na madugang ni Muntos gigamit. No, for example, na iwan maapil din hii ka ng Navicat para sa atong uh, DFD. Okay? I-add na nato siya di rin. Ito po ang no, gamay ng description. So, gamay lang siya ng description. Don't, don't go uh, way too far. No? So, ibutang po ni Mutan ang book description. So, dili. Ginagmay lang. So, two to three sentence will do. Okay? Then, also, we are, you are going to indicate the hardware specification of the web and database server no the hardware specification so pwede na ni mo uh, kanang ibutang diha kung unsa imo hang specification so you can copy this one na lang aron dili ka ma langan so di man ni makwag plagiarism kay uniform mo so again kaning technical background pariha ra duha pariha ra duha no, pero diri sa introduction, bali niya sa opening statement. Okay, sa opening statement, where is that? Okay, ihisgot diha ang onside disadvantage sa inyong system. Sa inyong modules, tay, duha. So, ang pag the way you state is covered na duha ka module ninyo. Okay, 
then followed by the specification of the server is the specification of the client devices so that could be a pc or a laptop or a mobile device cell phone or a tablet so ato lang din nabutang is uh, na eh, naka, naka indicate na di ay no so mo ni atong specification niya aron mudaga ng atong application okay so basically that is chapter 3 technical back Ground. It is a generic description sa kwan sa in terms of security, uh, the approaches used, no, uh, sa imuhang module. Okay, so so basic kopya ho lang sa punin niyo. No, you create your own. So revise si kung mo kopya ho, i revise siya ng ma fit na sa inyuhang. Uh, system okay, ma fitness in your study. So, if you have questions, please comment on the comment section, uh, raise it in the messenger, or you can ask me directly uh, through again the messenger, and you can call me also. Okay, so thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Uh, God bless everyone, and always keep safe. Come <laughs> on.